uh, after a lot longer time than I thought. Uh, yeah, my <laughs> job, which I had, that uh, I was so busy with, I didn't have time to make any new videos. That uh, ended in November, uh, week before Thanksgiving. And uh, uh, I'll, I'll make a, another video uh, about my experience at, at that job. But yeah, this is gonna, this video is gonna be about uh, what happened uh, to me over the past two months, I guess. But, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, mid-October, uh, I think it was, I started getting, uh, symptoms from, uh, my acid reflux disease that I have, which, which I, I made a, a whole other video talking about that. Uh, but, uh, this time the symptoms were different. Uh, I, I would get these coughing fits and then I would, uh, basically just spit up or cough up, I guess, uh, just have part of my, uh, meal, my last meal, just come up after these coffin fits were over. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty gross. It was, it was just like a whole bunch of saliva and then a little bit of, of partially digested food, it looked like, that, that I just ate, which wasn't good. And these were, this would just happen so random, almost, because it, it only seemed to happen in the mornings and at night, like, uh, as I'm leaving for work, like, as, as I'm heading out the door to my car, I would just start coughing kind of suddenly I guess and then you know cough up the food then also like as I'm going to bed as I'm getting into bed it would happen again and yeah yeah but but during the day I would be you know almost completely fine Uh, the, the coughing would be, you know, almost non-existent. I would have a little bit more saliva, uh, I guess, that, that, but that, that was about it. And there, during lunch at work, all that food stayed down. <laughs> and also, uh, at our, during my breaks, I would eat a little bit too, and I was fine then, but, yeah, it, yeah, just early in the morning and late at night, I wasn't for some reason. Uh, I, I almost thought it was had something to do with me brushing my teeth because that seemed to be the only thing uh, that I had in common, that that uh, these things had in common because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, but, but like in the morning I would eat breakfast and then brush my teeth shortly after. 
and then and then not not too long after that I would uh, have these symptoms and and also at night uh, brush my teeth before going to bed and then the symptoms start but I don't, I don't know how brushing my teeth would cause me to spit up food, but, but yeah, but, uh, I eventually, sh uh, sh made an appointment, like, uh, I think less than a week after these symptoms started, the, the, they were happening every day, I would say. Yeah. 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 So went to my doctor and then I got put back on the medicine that uh, I had taken previously in, in the past for my acid reflux. And yeah, just taking that uh, once a day and it seemed to work it uh was on it for about two weeks and i seemed to be cured uh, or at least the symptoms went away uh yeah 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 so i had a follow-up appointment with my doctor and he said since everything seems better, we can start getting you off the medicine uh, slowly. Uh, he cut down my dose. Uh, I was taking 40 milligrams of the medicine, then went down to 20 milligrams once a day for a week, and then uh, take 20 milligrams every other day for a week, and that was supposed to help me wean me off of the medicine. And yeah, and it, if you watch, uh, uh, my other video, uh, I talk about how I have a problem swallowing pills, and I take this medicine by cutting open the pill and sp uh, sprinkling the little uh, balls of medicine onto applesauce and taking that and yeah, still doing that. And then for 20 milligrams, uh, uh, my doctor just said I could find that uh, and get it over the counter at a store and I was able to find some that melts in your mouth so so yeah that was good and yeah I started taking the 20 milligrams but as I was coming to an end or what was supposed to be the end, uh, the symptoms started to come back and they came back worse and then I had new symptoms too. Uh, I had pain like just right all in here and it, what, it's not pain like a sore throat. It, it actually just literally felt like this, like someone was grabbing uh, grabbing right here and squeezing. That's, that's little, literally what it felt like. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so I, I ended up just going back on the 40 milligrams just by myself, uh, as that that seemed to help, uh, but it didn't work this time. Uh, and uh, 
and actually fortunately uh, my job had ended at this point when, uh, so I, I was able to get through the, uh, the last uh, couple weeks of my job with no symptoms feeling good so yeah that, that was that was good but then it almost as almost immediately after my job ends uh, everything starts going bad it's, it really sucked because I was planning a bunch of stuff to do uh, after my job ended, including uh, making more videos. Uh, yeah, I was planning on doing that, but it was just, I just, I, I couldn't do it because, you know, the, the pain in here, in this area, and yeah. It was, it either felt like this or just felt like, like, yeah, like someone just was just poking their finger really hard right there. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I was still coughing up food randomly, so I just couldn't focus on anything else and just, just, <clears throat> just wanted to stay at home and not do anything uh, yeah yeah and then I went back to my doctor and yeah he suggested that uh, it might be a food allergy that I have developed uh, so he said I should go to see a food allergy specialist and I should also get uh, endoscopy, I think it's called, or endo endoscopy. Uh, just where they take a camera, a small camera, and uh, put it down your esophagus to your, to your stomach while you're asleep. Yeah. 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 Th yeah. That's what he said to do. Uh, and literally like two hours after my third doctor's appointment, I come home and start vomiting. Uh, and yeah, yeah, it, it was different from before because, you know, when I was just coughing up food, it was just once like one big cough and everything would come up. But this time I was like hurling up uh, vomit, I guess. Yeah, it looked and smelled like vomit. So, and I was hurling four or five times. So, so yeah, it, it was different. And, and so I got in contact with my doctor and yeah, he seemed worried, so he suggested that I go to the emergency room uh, and see if they can do the endo endoscopy. Uh, yeah, yeah, because vomiting, not good. Uh, yeah, so I, I go to the ER spend like two and a half hours there uh, but my doctor called the ER head and let them know I was coming which was really good less explaining for me to do yeah yeah I, I get to the ER I, I actually didn't didn't have to spend very much time in the waiting room uh, but then they, they took me to uh, another small room where that's where I did most of my waiting. Yeah, yeah, and the, uh, yeah, saw a whole bunch of people, 
and they did take an x-ray of my chest and also do a, uh, I think it was an EKG or something like that. They stuck a whole bunch of uh, wires to my chest and did something. Yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah, both the x-ray and that other thing came back negative. Uh, and they concluded that I wasn't serious enough to have the camera procedure done because I didn't have any uh, trouble swallowing. Uh, yeah, yeah, even though I had pain all in this area, I could still get the food down uh, uh, almost uh, as I did before having the pain. Yeah, yeah, it got down okay, but it still felt weird. Like, like uh, it felt like I could feel all the food going down my throat in, in my socus. I could, I could feel it more, uh, if, if that makes sense. But, but yeah, yeah, since I didn't have any trouble swallowing or trouble breathing, they uh, sent me home after I waited a long time. Cause they, yeah, they were busy. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, but uh, at the ER, they did suggest that I uh, increase my dose of the medicine from 40 milligrams to 80 milligrams, is twice a day, basically. Yeah, and uh, I, they, when I first got the medicine, they gave me a 90 day supply. I, I, I don't know why, but I'm glad they did. So, so yeah, yeah, I got uh, on the 80 milligrams of the medicine, which uh, did have more of an effect and it did seem to be helping me. Yeah, yeah, and so I. Uh, yeah, later on I go to the food allergy specialist and do uh, the allergy test where, you know, they poke you with needles to see it, see if you're allergic to anything and, and all those came back negative. Although they did say I might have a, like a sensitivity to wheat and milk, which if you read the back of any, uh, uh, the, if, if you read the ingredients list on the back of almost any food, you'll see wheat and or milk is in there. So yeah. Yeah, if I do have an, uh, sensitivity to that stuff, then I'm screwed. Because <laughs> it, it is in a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like almost everything that I buy has wheat or milk in it. So yeah, that's nice. <coughs> So, yeah, and then I finally get in to, do, to uh, do the endoscopy. Yeah, do that. That goes well. Uh, they, they end up doing a biopsy as well. I'm not sure what the biopsy was on or from. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but... I, <coughs> Yeah, but I had to wait a few days to get the results. 
And then uh, I talked to a nurse uh, about the results. And uh, she said everything came back negative. They didn't see anything except for some mild uh, inflammation, which, which uh, I'm surprised it's mild. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, I'm talking too much. Man, this video is already 20 minutes long. But I'm almost finished. So, yeah, I talked to the nurse. Biopsy came back negative for everything. Uh, the only thing they could see was some mild inflammation, which kind of amazes me that it's only mild uh, inflammation. This, uh, I would think it would be at least moderate uh, inflammation or severe just from all the stuff I've gone through. But um, maybe that was just because of the medicine. It, it made it mild. But yeah, so the nurse I spoke to, she asked me if I was waiting 30 to 45 minutes after I take the medicine uh, before I eat, uh, food. So, so yeah, wait, you, you take the medicine and then you wait 30 to 45 minutes and then you eat. Uh, and I, I was not doing that. <laughs> yeah. Not, not the full 30 minutes or like half that. There's, yeah, could, yeah, uh, that must have been my problem. Because when I first got on it, I was taking the medicine at night, right, right before I go to bed. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it would be the, the last thing I had before going to bed. But, uh, yeah, and also strangely, this, all my symptoms don't bother me when I'm sleeping, when I'm lying down, you know, sleeping, like, like when I get up in the morning, I, I feel almost fine or completely fine. Yeah, it's weird because usually lying down would irritate the acid reflux, but for some reason, it, it makes me feel better. I don't know why, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started out uh, taking medicine uh, uh, right before bed, so it would be like eight hours before I ate. Uh, but, but. Yeah, then later on I kind of changed it up because so sometimes I would wake up in the middle of the night and have this really bad taste in my mouth, which was from the medicine. So I, I, I uh, changed it. I would take the medicine before dinner so I could eat something and get that bad taste out of my mouth, which uh, also the 20 milligrams, uh, that also left a, uh, worse taste in my mouth. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so I, I needed something to get rid of the, the taste. But yeah, yeah, I would have the medicine and then you know, how, however long it took me to prepare dinner, uh, I would uh, eat uh, after taking medicine. So, yeah, yeah, and I'm, and I'm really big cooker at all, or any type of 
cooker really, so it, it doesn't take me very long to prepare dinner. So yeah, the yeah. Yeah, that must have been what screwed it all up. Uh, I think before they said, they told me to wait uh, after taking the medicine before eating, but uh, I don't remember any. I forgot to this time. So yeah, now I'm still taking the 80 milligrams twice a day, but I'm waiting. Yeah, almost a full 45 minutes before eating after I take the medicine, and it has helped a lot. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost completely better. But now the only problem is. Uh, I, I, uh, I tried cutting back to just take the medicine once a day, uh, cause the, the nurse I talked to said just take, uh, the medicine twice a day for one more week, then cut back to once a day for, for another week. And I tried that, but... Well, I could only make it one day, uh, uh, taking the medicine once a day because the symptoms were coming back, but they were not as bad as before. Thank goodness. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, it was almost the same day that I started. Uh, going to once a day that, that I started coughing more and having more saliva, but, but not spitting up food. Yeah, and, and the, the coughing's a lot, still a lot better, but, but I went back to twice a day and now the symptoms are almost completely gone. So, yeah, just gonna try taking the medicine twice a day for another week, and then try and cut back, see if that finally does it. Cause, yeah, I am so ready. Uh, for this to be over, because, yeah, it just has not been good for me, because, yeah, yeah, with all this happening, I just don't want to do anything, I don't want to go anywhere, uh, yeah, 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 it's been really awful for me. I, like, yeah, yeah, like, it's, it's winter now, so I would usually be skiing more, but I only went up for the first time this season yesterday going skiing. Uh, yeah, I didn't go at all in December just because uh, health reasons. It was so bad. Which, yeah, that, that's probably the first time I didn't ski in December since one year in college when uh, the, the snow was so bad that they, they couldn't even open, but, but this, this year it's, it's, it's been a good snow year so far, but I missed out. Yeah. 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 It's just, yeah, I've just been a real recluse 
over the past two months and it's, it's, it's been like 2020, the year 2020 all over again when everyone was staying home and, uh, and yeah, that's what it felt like for me. I was just practically staying in this apartment all day. Just have, yeah, just having to deal with this, all the symptoms and pain, and yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, is it? Ah. Yeah, so, so that's finally going to be it. I am. I'm back again making, making uh, videos. This is probably going to be one of my longest videos. But hey, I, I didn't make any videos for, since July. So I'm back to make it up. And, yeah. And, and hopefully I'll be back to 100% health E. Uh, yeah, 100% health soon. But I'm, yeah, I'm feeling so much better than I was a month ago. So that's good. Just, yeah, <clears throat> just gotta remember follow all the directions when you're taking medicine. So, oh yeah, I almost forgot. So, uh, until next video, which won't be, well, no, I, I should say, uh, next video will come sooner than seven months from now. So, yeah, yeah, I'll definitely make a, another video uh, sooner than seven months from now. So, yeah, but until that video, goodbye.